Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to do a section called factorials. Now, when we're doing this rule, you would see a lot of pupils get confused by the language. Okay, let's say there is a netball tournament. Now, for this tournament, there are going to be eight matches. How many ways can we predict if you can win, lose or draw? So how many options are there? We know that for every match, there is three options. For the first match, there is three options. For the second, there is three options. For the third, there is three options. For the fourth, there is three options. Fifth, three options. Sixth, three options. Seven, three. Eighth, three. So, what we're doing is, we are still using the rule where we had m times n. But what happens is, we can see that it's going to be 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. So I'm going to say 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So I'm still using the rule of m times n. But instead of writing this down so many times, since we know that the outcome for every option, so the outcome for every option is the same. So we know the outcome in this case is 3. How many options do we have? We have 8 options. So the outcome for match 1 can be any of the 3. The outcome for match 2 can be any of the 3. But all in all, how many times is this going to happen? It's going to happen 8 times. So what we have is we have 3 to the power of 8. So we are still using m times n. Let's look at another example. Let's say you got the word help. And I want to know how many options are there to change the letters and get different words, even if the words don't make sense. And we can reuse the letters. So in other words, the letters can be repeated. I want to know how many four letter words can we make if the letters can be repeated. Now if I look here for this one, I have four choices. H-E-L-P. Here I have four choices. H-E-L-P. Four choices. H-E-L-P. Four choices. H-E-L-P. So I have 4 times 4 times 4 times 4, which we could have simply written as 4 to the power of 4. Now let's take another word. Let's say I gave you the word counting. Now counting has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 letters. I want you to arrange words that have eight letters. But what is important is that you can repeat the letters. Okay, what I'm saying is you have eight letters. I want you to make a word that has eight letters and you are welcome to repeat the letters. Now instead of writing eight lines and then in the eight line doing eight times eight times eight times eight, we know the answer is going to be eight to the power of eight. So our final total will be 8 to the power of 8. So what we can deduce, if the letters can be repeated, then the formula is the number of possible arrangements to the power of the positions that need to be filled. So what are they saying is that if the letters can be repeated, let's take the following example. Let's say I tell you that you must use the letters from from castle but I only want you to write down so we're using the letters from castle but I only want four letter words now what does that mean how many possible arrangements are there they are one two three four five six 
there are six possible arrangements. So in the first one, I would have six. But how many positions are there to be filled? Only four. So my answer would be six to the power of four. So we're talking about the number of arrangements and then we're putting it to the power of how many they need. Now look at the following one, right? If they say a password has to be made. You can use the 26 letters of the alphabet and the numbers from 0 to 9. Repetition is allowed. Now as soon as they say repetition is allowed, it means for every position you can use that same amount of letters. So if I have 26 letters in the first position, in the second one I'll also have 26 letters. Now, the password must be set in the following form. It must be set in the following. Those are two alphabets and X are the three numbers. So it must be two alphabets and three numbers. Now if you look, they are telling you you have to make a password. It has five spaces but now look for the first two let's just work with the alphabets. We know that the number of possible arrangements is 26. How many positions need to be filled? Two. Then we have its times. We know that the numbers x, 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 how many possible arrangements? Now, if you come from 0 to 9, there are 10 possible arrangements. And how many positions need to be filled? Three. So we have the number of possible arrangements which is 26 but we only have two slots so therefore it's to the power of 2 then the number of possible arrangements for the numbers is 10 but we only have three slots so it's 26 to the power of 2 times 10 to the power of 3 which is equal to 676 thousand options so remember we don't need to have six letters to the power of six that is not it if i'm telling you it's six letters it doesn't mean it's immediately to the power of six what i'm telling you is you must know what arrangements can i make and then you must know how many slots are there to fill in thank you for watching